My name is Peter Peters. Uh, I work at the Maastricht University in the division of nanoscopy at the M4I. Uh, this book is uh, meant for uh, students that have already passed their uh, bachelor degree. It is the molecular biology of the cell by uh, Alberts and several of his colleagues. And uh, in a shorter version of this one is called the essential cell biology. And though that book is actually meant for first year biology and medical students. Uh, this book is uh, important for all of us, I think, especially those who aim for studying um, medicine and life science, to understand the principles of life. So when we um, are born, we got from our parents the genes in the sperm and the egg cell, 23 chromosomes, uh, 23,000 genes, and those 23,000 genes make 23,000 proteins and our life is built up of those genes and those proteins and they work together as molecular machines and how they work together as molecular machines and how they make life is all described in this book. chapters actually inspire me. This is the basic fundamental understanding of life on this planet uh, from uh, animals and plants and humans. Uh, and uh, the chapter one is about cells and genome. Myself uh, I like uh, chapter nine particularly because it is about visualizing cells and their molecules and that is our daily living, that is what we do in our work and we look to membrane structures and intercellular transport of proteins in cells. So uh, these are the things that I was already studying in 83 when the first version came out. And when the first version came out, um, we bought this book, my friend and I, on our way to London. And my friend is uh, Hans Klevers and he is uh, 10 times smarter than me and 10 times faster in reading. So he was every night studying one chapter and after about uh, one week he finished studying half the book while we were on a work visit in London. And that was for me uh, something very special. But I personally like uh, chapter 13, which is uh, intercellular membrane traffic. That is what I did during my PhD and postdoc work. Yes, the cover of the book shows uh, six of those uh, 23,000 proteins that we have in our body in each cell. And each of them has a unique uh, structure. Like the 23,000 proteins, they all have unique structures. And if you receive from your parents a mutation that can cause breast cancer, for example, then one of these little green dots is slightly modified and because one of those green dots is modified you develop cancer and so to correct for this cancer you need to bring it back in the original position by drugs that fit in between this dot and the other dot and this way you can uh, cure cancer and Maastricht University and our department has a very rich history in um, actually uh, developing technology that is able to look at these proteins. This machine is sold worldwide to the 1200 research laboratories and they all use the Maastricht instruments and our in instruments to um, petrify these in order to look into the microscope that is developed in Eindhoven. And Eindhoven is with us the world leader, actually 95% of all people worldwide that do this kind of work use these instruments. So I would like to emphasize that Maastricht has made a big impact. And also for SARS-CoV-2 spike proteins, it was essential that Maastricht uh, instruments uh, was used to look at the spike protein. And based on the structure, they designed the mRNA vaccine. 
and so Maastricht made really a big significant impact in the development of SARS-CoV-2, which almost nobody knows except me and my colleagues.